Hi everybody, welcome back to Crumbs and Doilies. Now before we start this amazing cake that I've got for you guys, I just want to give you a quick update on Gemma. She's had her baby, her little baby girl, they are at home, keeping safe because obviously right now we're still going through the coronavirus situation, so hopefully we'll get her back here soon. But in the meantime, you've got me and there's one thing I miss more than anything at the moment and that is making cakes because that is what we do here at Crumbs and Doilies, we make the best cakes in the whole world. It's a statement, but I'm pretty sure it's true. So I'm gonna make one of my favorite cakes ever and it's a lemon meringue cake and it's got loads of elements to it. We've got a delicious melt in the mouth lemon sponge, a zingy lemon curd, a delicious smooth lemon buttercream and of course toasted meringue icing. So we've got heaps to get through and the best thing about this cake is that you can just pick and choose the elements you want. But if you wanna go all out like me, I'm gonna make all four. Okay, so four recipes, we are gonna whiz through these. I'm not going to spend too long on each one, but I'm going to put full ingredients and different options for you guys in the description box below. I have got even quantities of flour, eggs, butter and sugar and a little bit of lemon juice and zest as well. We're going to start by creaming together our sugar and our butter and our lemon zest. So lemon zest is going in at the beginning there just so we get maximum flavour out of it. And now we're going to turn the mixer on to a nice medium to high speed and we're going to whip this for about five minutes because this is how we are creating the air in our cake. So don't be impatient, let it whip. Okay, so hopefully you could see there that now it's looking much paler in colour and it just looks fluffy and the sugar started to dissolve as well. So now we can start adding our eggs. Now we've got a lot of eggs, so we're going to add them two at a time and we're going to beat them really well in between each addition because eggs whip just like butter and sugar, they whip up and incorporate loads of air, so that is what we're going to keep doing. And once your first two eggs have incorporated, we can keep on adding them two at a time. Ooh, you get a bit of shell in, remember to remove it before you add it in. And we're just gonna keep doing this, beating really well in between each addition until you've used up all of your eggs. Okay, so it is super airy and very, very light. So now it is time to add our flour and our lemon juice. If we were to dump all of this flour into this batter and mix it on a similar speed, it's just gonna collapse this lovely batter and all the air's gonna go and you're gonna get a horrible, stiff kind of sponge. So I am gonna add it, flour, liquid, flour, liquid, on the lowest speed and as soon as one part of it has combined, we add the next bit. And once your batter looks like it's just come together, we're actually going to stop and finish this by hand because we do not want to overbeat this, we just want to be really gentle. So grab yourself a nice large spatula. <laughs> it's going to clean off my paddle because loads of bits get stuck on there. Like you can see there's big blobs of lemon zest here and I want to make sure that's all going in my cake. So scrape that down. And now, just really gently, I'm going to scrape all around the sides and the bottom of my mixer and I'm going to fold it very gently until all the bits of flour have gone. Okay, it is done, so now we need to put it in our cake tin. So like I said, I'm doing four layers. I like to bake my cakes in layers because I think they bake a lot better than trying to cut them in half. And I have greased them. I have greased mine with a cake spray, but you can do this with butter and flour or you can line them with parchment paper. And I'm just gonna do this by eye, putting a nice big blob in each tin. Okay, so I'm just gonna even these out a little bit with my little cranked palette knife, which you can actually get one of these from cupcakegemma.com. I would say this is my favorite baking tool. And you don't need to get these completely smooth because they will flatten out in the oven, but gonna do this because it helps me see if they're all nice and even as well. Okay, so all we need to do now is bake them. And I have got my oven preheated to 170 degrees C. And I'm baking mine for 24 minutes because I've baked a lot of cakes here and I know exactly how long they take. So I recommend that you put yours in for 22 minutes. When the buzzer goes off, you're gonna check every single sponge with a knife or a skewer and you wanna make sure that it comes out completely clean. If any of them are a bit gooey, leave them in for another minute or two.
Okay, so we are gonna do our curd and our lemon buttercream. If you just wanna go with the lemon buttercream, that is fine, but I highly recommend the curd because it adds such a great little zing to your cake. So again, Gemma's done a really in-depth recipe for this and I'll put a link to it below. Um, so I'm just gonna whiz through this. So we're gonna start with some lemon juice and some sugar, along with some egg yolks and one whole egg as well. And finally, a little bit more lemon zest. Okay, so gently whisk those together, and then we're gonna cook those over a pan marie because we do not want any direct heat with our ingredients because it's mainly egg and you'll end up scrambling your eggs. So we're gonna gently stir this all the time. We're not whisking or whipping, just moving it around until it's nice and thick, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so you can see it's thickened up beautifully and it's always kind of like a ribbon stage. So you drag the whisk through it, it holds its shape before it kind of melts back into itself. So now we're taking off the heat and we need this to cool down really quickly to stop it from cooking. So I've got some cold butter which I've taken straight from the fridge. I'm adding that in. We're gonna whisk it through until it's completely melted. And once it's nice and smooth, I'm gonna put mine through a sieve because remember we put that lemon zest in there and I don't want any of those little bits when I'm eating it. I want it to be really smooth. You might also find that you've got a little bit of egg white in there as well. So this will just ensure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so that is done. It looks beautiful. It's such a lovely summery color and it smells incredible too. So I'm gonna leave that to cool down, nip over here and we're gonna whip up some lemon buttercream which I'm gonna use for the filling of my cake. So as always with buttercream, we're using really soft butter because we want it to whip up. If it's hard, it's not gonna whip. So once you've whipped your butter for about five minutes, it's lovely and smooth, we can start adding icing sugar, which I've already sifted. You must always sift all your ingredients, even if you don't see me doing it. And I'm gonna add it in two halves, beating it really well in between each addition. So it's looking lovely, but it is pretty stiff and it's also not lemony yet. So perfect time to add our lemon juice. I'm gonna do this tablespoon at a time and I'm just gonna keep adding until my icing is the consistency I want it. Okay, let's just have a look at this and check we're happy with it. Oh yeah, look at that. super smooth and you know you've got to picture what it's going to feel like to ice a cake and if you think oh a bit stiff add some more lemon juice but this is great so I've got my curd I've got my icing but I need a cake so give me five minutes to have a clean down and then we can start decorating <music> Okay, so we're nearly at the fun part, but before I decorate my cakes, I like to just make them as perfect as possible. So I'm gonna remove the caramelization from the sides and the top of my cake. By all means, do not feel you have to do this, but I wanna go for the professional look. So I've got my handy leveler here, and I'm gonna slide this across the top of my cake to remove the crispy bit on top. So you can see it's just the very skin of this, and don't worry, we have many uses for our offcuts here at Crumbs and Doilies. Mainly we just eat them. <laughs> and I'm also gonna chop the edge off here. I've got this fancy little cake ring here, but you can do this with a knife. So I'm gonna chomp that out. We remove the sides, and then look what we're left with one beautiful fluffy sponge. So I'm just gonna do that with the other three layers, then I promise we can decorate. Right, so I'm gonna 
stack my cakes with my lemon buttercream and my lemon curd and I'm going to use a bit of buttercream to stick the first layer down onto my cake board. Okay, so we're going to start with a nice layer of lemon buttercream. So I'm going to use my nice favourite palette knife to spread that around the cake. And once it's nice and smooth, I'm actually going to use the palette knife to cut out a little bit of a hole in the middle of the cake, which is where the curd filling is going to sit. Now we're going to keep doing that, a layer of buttercream, a layer of curd, a layer of sponge, until we get to the top. Now that I've filled my cake, I'm going to give it a nice crumb coat with the lemon buttercream to make sure we lock in those crumbs. So once you've done the sides of the cake, we can do the top. So the same as where we were when we were filling, pushing the icing all around. And then we're just going to smooth it down and put it in the fridge. So whilst our cake is chilling out in the fridge, that's just going to kind of harden up his kind of crumb coat, so it's going to make it nice and easy for us to do a top coat. And now we need to make that top coat, which is going to be a Swiss meringue icing that we are then going to blowtorch. So it's really, really simple, I promise you, you just need a blowtorch for this. We're going to start with some egg whites and some sugar and put those into a bowl. Now we're going to whisk these two together and then put it onto a bain marie, just like we did with the lemon curd. And we're going to keep whisking this over the heat until the sugar has completely dissolved and by that stage the eggs will have cooked and it will be a very kind of milky thin consistency. So the best way to tell if the sugar's dissolved is to actually put your finger in and rub it between your thumb and if you can feel a little bit of sugar, keep heating it. But mine is nice and smooth, so I'm just going to dump it into my stand mixer. And now I've got the balloon whisk attachment on my mixer because we want to whip this up just like a normal meringue. So we're going to turn it on to a nice high speed and you'll see after about five minutes it will be absolutely huge and it will be cool to the touch and it will be sticky and shiny just like meringue. really really stiff stiff old peaks there which is exactly how we want it to ice our cake which we're going to get on and do now <laughs> so I'm going to use my palette knife and I'm going to do this really rough because I want there to be spiky bits that it's going to look great when we blow torch it So it's purposefully messy, I promise, because just wait and see how this looks. I told you I was going to make a pretty epic cake. I think you'll agree, it looks incredible. Um, but it's going to taste even better and I can't wait, so let's have a look inside. It's so fluffy. I can't tell you how good it smells either, so here we go. Mm. 
get an instant hit from the lemon curd in there. Oh, that's amazing. And the sponge really does melt in your mouth. It is so soft. And the buttercream's great because it adds another texture. Let's just try this meringue icing as well. Mmm. The perfect kind of combo of sweet and tangy. That is absolutely amazing and I am so pleased that this is the first cake that I have made and iced in three months. Luckily, I still remember how to do it. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed that and I hope you give it a go and I hope you have fun with your blowtorch because it just looks so awesome. Like It kind of looks like the surface of the moon or something wonderful like that. So let me know how you get on over on Instagram. Of course, keep tagging Gemma and myself. We'll put our tags on screen here so you can add us and follow us and see what we're all up to. Also at home baking, use the hashtag, hashtag Cupcake Gemma. And also make sure you do subscribe to our channel because we are really trying to get as much stuff up for you whilst we're all in lockdown to keep you all busy with all your bakes and stuff. So there's a subscribe button somewhere around here. Hit that and you'll get notifications every time we upload. Um, in the meantime, I've just got to eat this cake. I'm really sorry. There's loads of hungry eyes looking at me as well, so I better feed them, otherwise they might get angry. So I'll see you guys soon.